Now, saints, we're dealing with something very powerful on here. That made up. Uh, we'll be hot. Damn it, I ain't got no problem with you. We'll be on here for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. We'll be on here for 10 minutes. Now, saints, uh, I want to really deal with the mystery of Mary Magdalene. Just for a brief moment. Because Jesus been speaking to me about Mary Magdalene. Now, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a hit it strong today. Today, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to be on Facebook. Later on today, bam, bam. Hit it in sections. And if you up in the morning, you'll catch me. You'll catch me. But, um... On this Father's Day, there's one amazing father. Myself. <laughs> ah, one amazing father. Jesus, the precious King of Kings. And we say, Happy Father's Day, Jesus. Happy Father. Let me see everybody light it up. As a matter of fact, let this be your decree today. Happy Father's Day, Jesus. Happy Father's Day, King Jesus. Let this, let this be your, 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 your vocabulary today. I'm not going to be on here now. Let the Holy Ghost have his way. The mystery of Mary Magdalene is this. Uh, there was many different realms in which Mary Magdalene were, was demon possessed. And Mary Magdalene was underneath demonic powers for a uh, time. And Mary Magdalene was a uh, she was under satanic strongholds. Happy Father's Day, King Jesus. But then something happened and Mary stepped, Mary Magdalene stepped into another realm with Jesus. And Mary Magdalene began to flow with God. And all um, all of her being stepped into the glory of the Holy Spirit that was very supernatural. To the degree now, something begins to take place in Mary's life. Mary begins to be possessed, not by demons, but by Jesus. Now, the seven wicked spirits that possess her are very important that you remember because she went from seven wicked spirits to the seven spirits of God. There was a switching. Now, um, the re okay, if I'm talking about her, her mantle up in the air. Um... How many y'all awake? If you're awake, say glory. Never mind. Don't say nothing because you're going to mess me up. Never mind. Um, let me say this. Jesus spoke to me and told me that Esther is not the greatest amongst women. Jesus told me that Mary Magdalene is greater than Esther. 
And Jesus told me, remember, because that was Jesus' uh, go-to woman. He, he trusted her with a lot of uh, um, wisdom. And he trusted her with a lot of kingdom assignments. Jesus told me, son, I'm giving you a fresh word for your generation. Esther is not the top woman. He said, everybody talk about Esther, but Esther is not the top. The top woman is Mary Magdalene. Thank you, daughter. I like seeing that. Look at that. That's beautiful. I like seeing that. I like, I like, just like God, I like to be praised. <laughs> They're going to get mad at me. Watch, watch they going to have me on YouTube saying it's for that statement. <laughs> well, thank you, because it's going to help me get more, 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 more people connect with my ministry. Thank you. See, sometimes I say stuff controversial on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna have me on that. He said, I like people praising him. He said, I like people. He said, I like people praising They're gonna have me just like that in slow motion. Mary Magdalene is greater than Esther. Mary Magdalene is greater than Esther. Because as Jesus told me that Esther was assigned to King Ahasuerus. But Mary Magdalene was assigned to me myself. And watch. Ahasuerus was a king under the king. But Jesus was the king himself. Ain't that powerful, saints? Jesus was and is the king himself. Esther was linked to a king underneath Jesus. But Mary Magdalene was serving the actual king over all the kings. Mary Magdalene is greater than Esther. A lot of people have been studying Esther, but you, you, I, 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 I want you to, uh, because I'm in the prophetic, discern Mary Magdalene. Because she not only switched from being converted uh, uh, with seven devils and stepped into the seven spirits of God by nothing. Saints, Jesus told me the reason why I spoke to her when I got up from the dead, first, I spoke to her first, was because she was the biggest sower in my ministry. Luke chapter 8 verse 3 said that, um, that there was many women that gave up their substance and they talked about different women. Uh, some of them was even married. But they, they knew that Jesus was their soul and they honored Jesus with their finances. But Jesus told me, he said, son, she was my biggest soul. Now, saints, Jesus said something to me that also shocked me. He said, son, the woman with the alabaster box, I took her with me everywhere I went. He said, son, I said nothing to the Seraphonician woman. I said nothing to that woman with the daughter that was grievously vexed. Because she was outside of, she was outside, where the ushers at? She, she was out, she was outside um, of the blood covenant, the blessing covenant. The uh, blessing covenant. So Jesus was silent. It was a different type of woman. She she was outside of uh, of surrender. She was a strange woman, according to the to the um, the order, the order of things. But Mary Magdalene, Jesus talks to her. 
as the first person when he rises from. Now, saints, think about this. Think about what I'm saying. If Jesus just came and fulfilled prophecy and fulfilled history and fulfilled biblical word. And the first thing he does when he comes back is this. He goes and talks to this woman. Wait, he's in the spirit though. He's fresh out of history being made. He's the first man to lay down his life and take it back up. There's a difference. Yeah, we know about Elijah's spirit going on, Elijah, just like that. But he the only one to take, lay down his life and then take it up himself. So there's a difference. And watch what Jesus does. Um, the first person that he trusts with his new realm is Mary. Think, oh, 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 Jesus. Think about that. He's in another realm where he can't trust folk. The whole world doesn't turn against him. The first person that he, he deems as confidential, trustworthy, is Mary Magdalene. Now, why this is so shocking as well is because you want to remember this as well. Uh, Jesus did not trust Um, he did not trust nobody with his first conversation. The first person he trusts is Mary Magdalene. Look at Luke chapter 24, verse 10. It was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary, the mother of James, and other women that were with Jesus. Oh, Shekolaso. I feel the anointing, man. I feel the anointing. See, because what I'm doing is uh, I done stepped into section C, and a lot of my teachings this year have been out of section C. The library in heaven. That section has been. Uh, I've been given authority over that section. So uh, as Irenaeus scanned through books. He hand them books to me. Those are scrolls. As I eat those scrolls. My revelation. My wisdom is endued by God. Empowered by God. To go to the heavenly. And step into levels. Of deep wisdom and deep secrecies of God. Deep mysteries of God. Watch this. Luke chapter 8 verse 1 says, And it came to pass afterward that when he went to every city and village, preaching and showing glad tidings of the kingdom, and the twelve were with him. And verse 2. And certain woman. Certain woman. These women done pass the natural realm. They done stepped into the supernatural. They have a supernatural flow to them. These certain women. They not your average female. They don't have emotional issues. They don't battle with, 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 with wrong thoughts. They, they are supernatural. Holy Ghost done took them over. They, they are Jesus' woman. He's inside of them. He lives in them. He moves in them. He talks with them. He walks. 
which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. So watch this. Every woman has to be healed. Mary called Magdalene. Out of whom went seven devils? And Joanna, the wife of Chusa. Let me just say this. For, forget Chusa. We ain't worried about that. That Negro. Um, Joanna. So we got Mary Magdalene, we got Joanna. Look at this. And Susanna. And many others. Which sold unto Jesus with their substance. The Bible said they ministered unto Jesus with their substance. They sold large money into Jesus. They was taking care of Jesus. They was making sure Jesus ate. That he had money to fund his conferences. That he had money to live. These were different type of women. They were seed sowers. They were training in the glory. Ah! The glory of God had taken them over and they were training in the glory with the seed. And while they were sowing, they was becoming one with Jesus and Jesus was taking them over. All of them was possessed by Jesus. Watch this. You know what Jesus said to me? Which shocked me today. He said, son, there was word that went out through Jerusalem. He said, son, I heard it. He said, when I would deliver a hoe and she would follow me, he said, people would mock me when I went from city to city and said, these are Jesus' hoes. Then the Lord Jesus said to me today, or, or yesterday, he said, when I took a prostitute, the men that she was prostituting with hated me. And he said, I had to take that woman through a process so that their spirit would not re-enter her or be rekindled within her so that she would turn against me while, she'll walk, while she's walking with me. He said, son, the woman at the... My kastula kafa pasa, erados ha 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 ha, matapa katalama, neko stoko ustukulu usatalamanda, vele karamose, ufakapa kalako, roko, ah ha 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 ha. And he said, when the woman at the well was converted to follow me, he said, those men that she was with, I had to take her through instructions and processes so that their spirit would not govern her excellency with me. So she would not fall back into bondage again. He said, the woman would be called, you prostitutes for Jesus. He said there was people that mocked me and laughed at me when they saw me with women that were obviously living for the devil and now they're following me. He said, son, when I was on the earth, these women had a different spirit within them in their attitude. Because though they heard people call them names and though they heard people laugh at them, they were not moved. Because they only saw me. And I taught them how to love. I taught them how to overcome and they did not betray my teaching. They did not betray what I trained them to do. They watch my reaction. Makatala 
Stolo Koste. Mekostula Kapa. They watched my reaction. And they didn't take on themselves to respond differently. They followed and submitted and followed suit with my reactions. There was a supernatural grace and glory that sustained them throughout their life. And their ability to focus on my command and my vision was superb. It was undisturbed. You see how easy it is to lose favor? See, I, I, see, see, I'm in both realms right now. But 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 this the Lord, this the Lord still talking. You see how easy it is to lose favor? You see how easy your mouth could either deliver you or destroy you. And see, here's what's crazy. Our generation, nobody has been taught the fear of God correctly. People not raising their children about the fear of God. So what happens is when they get with men of God, they casualize God. And then when God cut them, it's, it's shocking. But see, I'm going to tell you something. A prophet is actually an easier route, easier route than you going you face to face with God. Because he will jack you up. And he don't care if you're a female. See, this world's government talk about, oh, you can't hit no woman, all this stuff. God will hit you. <laughs> look what he did to Lot's wife. Remember when she looked back? <laughs> look what he did with <laughs> Sophia. Remember Ananias and Sophia? Remember she lied? Boom! See, this world's government, this the world's government, but in God's government, he'll beat you down. He don't care if you're male, female, child. Because the sons of Egypt was dropping dead. Achan, when he sinned against Joshua, him and his seed died. You understand? A stupid woman quenches the anointing. Apostle Paul was saying, tell these stupid behind women to be quiet while I'm talking. Tell them to shut up. You remember in that text in the New Testament? Now you now you understand why he was talking like that. He wasn't saying that woman can't preach. But these women would ask their husband stuff while Apostle Paul was going forth with the word. What he mean by that, baby? You're not going to tell me? I need to understand what he tell. Shut up. Shh. You're not going to tell me, but I'm your wife. You're supposed to tell me. You, you, you're not going to let me know what he's talking about. If not, I'm going to walk out. Apostle Paul said, tell the woman to shut up in there. It wasn't that he was saying that woman can't be anointed. But you got to understand when you're dealing with a general, a king, an apostle, somebody that has an assignment from God, you can't mess that stuff up because you're just going to release God's wrath. You understand? I'm not no rookie preacher. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't do Periscope like, like these other preachers. I ain't got no word. I don't come with no recycled message. So I demand the atmosphere. Because this ain't no light work. This ain't no light delivery. There's a mantle on me. There's mantles on me. There's power on me to talk. This time I'm investing myself into you. 
This is an investment that I'm giving to you for you to come up higher. You can't see. Listen, because I'm already there. I'm not looking to grow into this. I'm there. I'm, talk, I'm not talking to you on the way. I'm talking to you from the way. I'm there. I'm sitting on the high place. Riding on the high places of the earth. I'm there. So, so when, when people act foolish, Mary Magdalene, she knew how to handle Jesus. When Jesus was pissed off, she didn't go to Jesus and say, oh, Jesus, that ain't of the spirit. That's not God. You know that the Father don't want you acting like that. You know that you got to die for the sins of the world. Why you went inside of the temple and went go overturn the tables and whipped it real good, Rick James, super free? Why did you do that, Jesus? You shouldn't have did that. You should have just waited and prayed in the spirit and waited on God to give you a patience and a peace about yourself. Mary Magdalene was on one accord. And because... She was a recipient of Jesus. She knew his mind. She knew his decisions. She knew how to react to him. If Jesus went to Mary Magdalene, she wouldn't say, okay, amen. Let me help some of you women. Because some of y'all don't understand. Never respond to a man. <laughs> if a man writes you a whole paragraph, right? Don't respond to him. Or take. Because men don't really talk that much. You ever see me do broadcasts on men? Them men don't be talking publicly. They come talking private. Prophet, I want to thank you so much for what you did for me. Men are different. Men don't, men, because uh, it's just it's just how, how most men operate. They don't, they don't, they don't often vocalize. But most men are free enough to do that. When you see a man able to vocalize, it's because he's free. Some men are not utterly free. Some men are on the way to be free. Huh? Some men are all the way free, so they're free to talk. Watch. You wear a nice outfit. Homeboy can say, Dad, that's a fly outfit. But he going to say it in private. He not going to say it publicly. He ain't going to write you and say, Dad, that's a fly outfit, man. Most will because they're free. But most of them will say, Dad, that's a fly outfit, but I ain't saying nothing. Because men got different reactions. On the other end, a female, because you got the graces already locked up in you to encourage, to empower, to lift up, to influence, to create atmosphere, you'll be more free to release compliments than a man. Now, most times men, the only time they compliment is if they see a sexy woman, a woman that they think is, 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 is um, good looking. And, they, and they're trying to uh, get your attention. Like some of you all, you get hit on by these African brothers. <laughs> they are like, They'll like your pictures all the way back to 2014. You got pictures that you did when Facebook uh, MTV was hot. You got pictures way back then. Well, Six and Park was out with AJ and Free. They'll like your picture all the way back to... And then they're going to ask you for $8 to put on their music card. <laughs> and then two weeks later, they're going to have my picture... It's going to be the same person. It's going to say, Prophet Joshua Holmes. And then you're going to ask me, Prophet, is this you talking to me? And 
no. Prophet, I sent $500 to help out the shelter that you just built. Thank you so much for what you're doing for the children. Mary Magdalene was a go-to because she was a sewing woman. And when she knew that she got free, she started sewing into Jesus because she wanted to protect her freedom. While she was sewing, she won favor with Jesus. Remember why I told you what Jesus said, the woman with the alabaster box? When she poured it out on Jesus, Jesus said, I took that woman with me everywhere I went. She was a part of, she was part of my, my group. She was part of my organization. She was part of my leadership. I had her with me for influential purposes, for inspiration purposes. He said, because when I saw the woman that will worship me, despite people telling them not to, I knew that they were ready to follow me wherever I went. I watched to see if they would keep on sowing when demons spoke to them through man's mouth and they passed the test. So I had them with me everywhere I went. Since this is so powerful, Jesus told me that Mary Magdalene was my best friend. He said she was my best friend and whenever I needed uh, whenever I needed someone that I could go to that wasn't going to be disrespectful that wasn't going to be disappointing I would go to Mary Magdalene. Dang. All right. See, Jesus just told me something. He said, son, they're not ready for the other stuff. No, no, no. I ain't talking to all of you. I'm talking about there still be spies <laughs> that ain't ready. They're not in agreement with Jesus. So, so, so he know. The secret of the Lord is with those that fear him. But, but there's a measure that I've been released by Jesus to release to the general public for people that will access. But there's certain stuff that are not um, profitable for Jesus' sake to be spoken. Remember what Apostle Paul says, it's not lawful for me to speak it. Why? Because most people are underneath law still. They're not underneath grace. So grace food is adversarial to those underneath the law. Glory training is offensive to those that are underneath the law. My God. See, saints, have you ever noticed that there's some people that despise the idea of sowing because they're underneath law? So grace is adversarial to their minds. You can, you can give them 50 scriptures, they still ain't gonna receive because they underneath law. And underneath law, you underneath the blindfolding of Satan and he won't let you see. Mary Magdalene, was Jesus' greatest soul in the ministry. See, Luke chapter 8, verse 1 is telling us that he had many people that was with him sowing. He had many with him that was sowing, that were women. But see, Mary Magdalene exceeded all of them. 
Mary Magdalene was like the queen of Sheba, sowing her way out. And watch this. Mary Magdalene had lost her mind to such a degree that Jesus did not even ask her for another seed in her life. She would just sow, she would just sow, she would just sow. Every time she thought about the goodness of God, she was so. Every time she looked at Jesus, she was so. Watch, when she couldn't so, the Lord said that was the only time she got frustrated. She never got frustrated with my instructions. She never got frustrated with, with, with what I was asking of her to do. She never got frustrated with my decisions. She was adapting to me full time. The only time she got frustrated is when she felt like she couldn't worship me. And he said, I will always empower her to worship me because I minister seed to the what? To the sower. The Lord said, Mary Magdalene's angels. Were my angels. He said, the angels that she saw. When I was right, while when I was about to rise from the dead, that told her that I was risen. Were the angels that belonged to her too? That's why they spoke with her. Man, I, uh, nah. 